College Your Way. Daytona State College offers a variety of courses that provide many formats and convenient meeting times. Students can choose the method of instruction that is most convenient for their schedules, such as those offered by hybrid courses or online courses. Hybrid courses. Hybrid courses are part lecture and part online delivery. These courses require 25 to 75 percent of on-campus lecture time, with the remaining hours to be completed online using Daytona State's learning management system, Falcon Online. Hybrid classes are especially good for those students who are independent learners but still want some of the traditional on-campus interaction with classmates and instructors. Hybrid courses have the same commitment and skills required for a fully online course. When we refer to online in this video, we mean both hybrid and fully online. Online courses. Online courses are delivered 80 to 100 percent online. Students access the course online via Daytona State's learning management system through Falcon Online. Online courses have very limited or no visitation to campus. Is online right for me? Some individuals expect online classes to be easier than face-to-face -face classes. In reality, online courses may be more difficult for some students, primarily because it is so easy to forget to go to class or log on, because unlike a face-to-face -face course, there is no set class time. How do you know if online is right for you? Let's look at some common myths and misperceptions to give you a better sense of what online courses are all about. Myth. I have a busy schedule and I can't be in a classroom regularly, so the online format is great for me. I just need to do the reading and assignments when I have time. Fact. Students are encouraged to visit each online course daily and become an active participant. Most online classes require students to log on several times a week, if not every day. Instructors can see when you have logged on, how long you have spent on each page, and what pages you have visited. This ensures active participation and maximum learning. It is important that though you don't attend class, you must attend to an online class regularly, as well as checking your student email account. Instructors communicate changes and make announcements regularly, and not checking in will put you at a disadvantage. Just like face-to-face -face courses, online courses have specific time frames and due dates for assignments, and homework and missed deadlines mean failing grades. While online students do not go to class, they still have specific assignments and real deadlines. These are not self-paced courses that allow you to submit your work whenever you choose. During your first week of class, most instructors give an assignment to complete, and if you do not complete it, you could be dropped from the class. Myth. I don't have much experience with computers, but I can pick that up as I go along. Fact. Students taking online courses must have basic computer skills. These skills include setting up accounts, internet use, using Falcon Online, and then software to complete homework, such as word processing, spreadsheets, presentations, or using publishers, book websites, and activities. Some instructors provide tutorials or resources for the course management system or specific tools used for their courses, but even these require you to read or watch to learn how to use those tools. Some instructors do not provide any of those tutorials, so as a student, you are responsible for learning how to use them. Another expectation related to computer use is how to download, upload, name, and save documents properly. If you do not know how to use a computer, you need to realize that you will not be taught how to do so in your online course. You should attend workshops offered on digital literacy by the Academic Support Center. Online and hybrid courses are tough enough with their content and independent learning. Don't make it harder on yourself by being unprepared with poor or no computer skills. Myth. My computer crashed, 
or the internet was down is an acceptable excuse. Fact. Most instructors will not accept excuses involving broken equipment or connection problems. Computers with internet access are available at public libraries, internet cafes, and on each DSC campus. You must check for their hours of availability. There is also a student help desk that can assist with basic computer problems or questions about your online course. They can also provide documentation to your instructor if you are legitimately having an issue. You must have access to a reliable computer on a daily basis if you expect to be successful in an online course. Myth. You don't need your own computer to take online courses because the college offers plenty of access to computers. Fact. While this is technically true, most students need their own easy and convenient computer access in order to succeed in an online course. In fact, it isn't recommended to even sign up for an online course unless you feel very comfortable working online and you have easy, daily access to a computer. College computers are not available 24-7, and you will need to use a computer almost every day to pass a class. Myth. Your instructors are always available, so you can expect an almost immediate response, especially for technology problems or questions. Fact. Your online instructors, just like you, have lives of their own. They do not live at their computers 24-7 waiting for you to need them. You should expect a response to arrive within a reasonable time frame, 24 to 36 hours. Give a little longer on weekends. This shows that it is extremely important not to wait until last minute to complete assignments or ask questions. By waiting, you may miss a deadline, and not understanding the assignment is not a legitimate excuse. Faculty are experts in their subject areas. They are not computer technology experts, so do not expect them to provide tech support for your individual computer problems. Falcon Online support exists just for those questions, and they should be contacted, not your instructor, for technology-related questions. Myth. Communicating online is the same as communicating via text or social media. Fact. Online courses are college courses, and your instructors expect you to use language that is correct and appropriate in anything that you write. You are always expected to check spelling, use correct punctuation, capitalization, and grammar, and properly cite your sources. Myth. Your circumstances are unique, so your instructor needs to be flexible with assignments and deadlines. Fact. We all have lives beyond school obligations to family and or to work. Nevertheless, you must plan to meet expectations your instructor lays out in the course syllabus, no different than in face-to-face -face classes. It is important that you communicate any concerns with your instructor in a timely manner so that circumstances can be considered, again, no different than in a face-to-face -face course. If you cannot meet those expectations, you should not take that course or expect to succeed. We hope that this short overview of online course expectations has given you enough information to make informed choices about taking a hybrid or online course. Only you can determine if you have the time management and computer skills, along with the motivation and self-discipline it takes to be successful in these types of courses. Be wise in making your choices, especially when it comes to technology. If you are a beginner with computers, take a semester of traditional face-to-face -face classes, but pick up the basic skills needed for the online environment. Remember, taking a course that you are unprepared for will only end up in frustration and most likely an unsuccessful result. Take the time to prepare yourself and you will like the results.